Hello my legion of little goblins, this is Gamer Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. We are returning to the fringe. And uh, let's just say things are not looking that good. I've arrived in the fringe to find that it has been completely conquered by the forces of order. Passmol may have been attacked. I should take a closer look. Oh, gray. I don't think that's supposed to be lit. Fall back, Nazgul. Retreat. Fall back to the town center. Now, now, move. Oh, shit. Okay, this is Your Grace, the situation is grim. Passwall is under attack. We are outmatched and outnumbered. Last night, as dusk fell, the spire at the center of town became active. Soon after, the area around it began to crystallize and change. It wasn't long after that, the knights came. All right, tell me about the knights. The knights are relentless. They do not tire. They do not fear, and they do not stop coming. They appear out of nowhere at the base of the spire. We kill five of them. Five more come. We've lost too many of the Maskin already. I fear that we will not be able to hold the town for much longer. All right, tell me about the spider. You've seen the spire in Passwall. It is believed to be a monument from times past, but its true purpose appears to be more sinister. Thoroughly. It appears to be a source of power for these invaders, a, a portal, or some sort of gate, I don't know. If we cannot disable or destroy it somehow, I do not think that we can stop this invasion. Good God, lady, we're all danger here now! We gotta do something! What can we do? I do have an idea how we might be able to stop them, but for now our primary concern must be our survival. I've been losing Mazkin with each attack, and I'm down to nothing but men. We are pinned down here. If we lose, the gates of madness will fall. If the gates fall, the enemy will flood into the Isles. We will be helpless to stop them. Now that you've arrived, perhaps we can slow them down. What must we do? We cannot talk now. We don't have very long until the next wave arrives. Even though I have served with these Mazkin for decades as the Duke of Dementia, it is your right to command the troops. Command them if you will, or leave it to me. Either way, make haste. Our time is short. I will trust your judgment. I thank you for your trust. In your name and for the sake of the Shivering Isles, I shall not disappoint you. Because I'm not a Inspect military Inspect the person. battlefield and provide what aid you can to the troops. Speak with me when you feel that they are ready for battle. Mazkin, form up. For the sake of your sorry male hides, move. Move! Are you prepared for battle, Your Grace? I'll take a few moments. Provide what aid you can, but I beg you to make haste. The enemy does not wait long between attacks. Figure out. Good way to disable this tower.
Alright. One of these guys has to be a scout. You. The knights are sure to attack again! It seems to be the source of their power. Rakendo Udiko may know more. Haswal has served as an outpost for our defense of the realm for millennia. Walk with our lord. Knights! Walk with our lord. Were you able to provide the Maskin with aid? We have little in the way of supplies here. No healing, no restoration. If you've done all that you can do, are you prepared for battle? You seem ready. Very well. I have a feeling that we will not need to wait long for the next attack. on me. The force of knights attacking past will have, have been an eliminate. I should speak to Gr Rakenda about the situation. Victory is ours, for the moment. And only we for must discuss our next move. The Spire is obviously their source of power. This battle will not end until we find a way to shut it down. Any idea how to get in? I am not certain. But do not lose heart. I have an idea. The ruins of Zedifin run under Passwall. The entrance to the south of the town has been sealed for centuries. One of my scouts reported that the ruins have been opened recently, and a number of these knights are now guarding the entrance. Did you send the scout inside? I did, and she did not return. I can only assume that she was caught and killed. What are you thinking now? If we attempt to assault Zedifin, Passwall will be overrun and we will lose the fringe. Additionally, our forces are dangerously thin. We have no idea what opposition may await us inside. A frontal assault is not an option. Yep. Your insight is impressive. While we draw their attention here, you should be able to slip inside Zedifin. Once inside, search for the source of the Spire's power. It must be underground somewhere. Once you find it, destroy it. Good luck, Your Grace. May the voice of the Hidden guide you to the way. Well, this will be fun. Walk with our Lord. Also, I'm fairly certain that at this point you can't currently get back to Cyrodiil. I can double check. Alien Brain Marker. 
Oh shit, you can, son of a bitch, you can get back to Cyrodiil. I should probably go do that real quick. Don't worry, it'll be fine. She's gonna be quick about it. So straight to skin grad. Dust again. Because everything is heavy. Also, something horrible just occurred to me. Ah, damn it. Well, I guess I gotta have to. God damn it, my mom made a steak for breakfast and now- and it smells good. Oh wait, that's a spell! I didn't need to keep a sp oh, I need- Drop a bunch of stuff off. Amber Sword Matrix. Ooh, I could use that. I'm uh, gonna just drop all this amber and the matrixes. And a sword. That's where I keep all my jewelry. Yes, that's where I keep all my jewelry. keep this on me because this is a really cool good necklace. I'm gonna disrobing. Who did I need that for? I was supposed to take that to the Museum of Oddities. Right. And I needed... A flawless pearl. And I need... Two more flawless rubies. Away. Yes, I'm very particular about my storage, my storing of things. Probably have gotten rid of those. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to little box of because I didn't intend it for this save to be the one that 
I was gonna have two separate saves, one for Shivering Isles and one for... I could have sworn... Not so loud, please. What a headache I've got. I'm Agnet the Smith. The Pickled, they call me. Sure wish I was pickled right now. Well, the local wine is great. It isn't cheap. But I don't bother with beer or ale anymore. And for a Nord, that's saying something. I'm sure. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Not really. A fine transaction. Yeah. Yeah, take the sword. A good. I got a so much crap, lady. You have no idea. You. You. Good day. You too. Uh, well, that's inconvenient. Wonder if she got arrested for a certain something again. Welcome to Col Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I interest you in? Do you have any flawless pearls? I mean, I doubt it, but... Yeah, I thought so. You've made a connect. You draw a go. A go. This could take a while. <laughs> you've you've that's a. Sounds like an excellent is being chaotic. An excellent. You. You. Jeez, that's a lot of. Oh my god. Gosh darn it. That's. Gosh darn it. You You got not see No, I wanted to sell seven. Not see. That, that's a fair deal. Bet your ass it's a fair you, deal. Oh, shut up. Uh, All right. Oh, wow. Take care. You too. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I'm sorry, the madness sword looks awesome. Okay, back to the strange door. Who fucking who to that? Shadow me, I need you to move. Nice to know that daytime's only slightly better. No 
giant shrooms! I won't have any people in my way. Boo. Here's about Jiggleheads' favor. Jiggleheads a boar. Just a straight up boar. Oh, so boring. Oh, so boring. Da -de 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 -da -de -de -da. I'll stop that. A low frame rate drops. just be like so clever and come up with the opposite of these Spongebob bun song song do not see me or I'm a ghost ah fuck he saw me whoa <laughs> excuse me you, <laughs> you dick <laughs> what the where's my sword me like, how fucking dare you disarm me you fucker you jackass so fucking rude where's the door into this dump I just followed the growing crystals Dick. I don't like them much anymore. I've made my way into the ruins of Xenophen. I must seek out the spire's source of power and find a way to deactivate it. And quickly! Found another pearl. Hopefully I can find ain't an extra one so I can replace the one I had to take from my personal storage. Um Shouldn't this place be gonna be uh, you know, crawling with order knights? Priest. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh shit! Don't dodge my spells! Probably needed a key. Where did the kids come from? Probably beyond these doors, but. See, I didn't even need the key!
Where'd they go? Guys, get out of the freaking ruin. So, Okay, you're one of those dickheads. Damn it. We can prevent as few of these guys from getting out as possible, that would be great. Why is there some of these left? Well, that looks important. I've discovered the source of Order's power. An obelisk is having its power amplified by a, the spire that leads to the center of Passwell. I must find a way to shut down the obelisk. No shit! I'd 
It's, Douche. It's you. I remember you. What are you doing down here? How did you get past the knights? I killed them. When they attacked, I ran from Passwall. They didn't say a word. They just started killing. The screams. By the staff, you can't imagine the screams. Actually, I can. Fellas and I slipped down here thinking we'd be safe. But no, we landed right in the middle of them. Fellas ran off with them and left me to die. Me! That ingrate. Disloyal cur. Imagine leaving me here all alone. I didn't say they took him. He went with them. I've heard his voice a few times around here. I think, I think he joined them. Oh, what a shock. Every time I look for a way out, I get twisted around and end up back here. But I'm too smart for them. So you you seem to have no trouble, though. Look at you. Barely a scratch. You'd be the perfect person to protect me. Um, it is very dangerous down here. This place is a nightmare. Knights everywhere, these priests, and whatever they've done to fellas. Listen, those people in Passwall need me. Can you imagine how they'd ever get along if I died down here? They're dead! What? Here? Are you kidding? I'm not staying here. If you don't want to help me, fine. I'll get out of here on my own. Have fun with that. It's like kind of clear the way I came because the knights are coming from this room in there. And I've pretty much killed everyone I've seen in on my way here. So, uh, yeah, you, you have fun with that, bud. Like, have a good time. Ah. Oh, that's what I need those stupid hearts for. Give me your stupid hearts. I think I need at least three of them. Hmm. obelisk and collapse the spire. The caverns are now coming down around me and I must escape before I'm trapped. Whoopsie! Oh, Sheldon escapes! Not... Inconvenient. This way!
Well, that was rude. Kill me. Oh no, Sheldon didn't make it. How awful. survived the collapsing ruins of Zedifen. I should seek out a Rikendo and ask her how the battle above ground went. Oh wow. Did I uh did I do that? Your grace, you're, you're alive. Truly, you are the greatest warrior ever to hold the seat of dementia. I was certain that no one could survive the spire's collapse, but here you are. By the staff, <coughs> you are more than worthy to lead us. I fear that our work is not yet done. The area is still overrun with knights that were not destroyed in the spire. You yeah. should return to the palace and speak with Sheogorath. Ask him how he plans to defend this realm. Well, I think we're gonna need a new gatekeeper for one. Everything is just so desolate. My inn is ruined and... Oh, it's terrible! Yeah. We're, uh... Bye. We're gonna figure some stuff out, don't worry, we're... This is bad. Nishayoth Palace. Blessings, citizen. You honor me. News of your success in the Fringe precedes you. To further cement the victory, I have an important task for you to perform.
It's gonna get interrupted, though, isn't you it? You will seek the assistance of Relmina Veranum in Zalselm to rebuild the Gatekeeper. You remember? The creature you killed to get in here. Yeah, I'm starting to regret it now. With the Gatekeeper now. restored and Zedillion in operation, we won't have to worry about anything getting in. Things already here are another matter. You'll need to speak with Relmina Veranum. She'll help you with your task. Strange woman has some unusual tastes. With that done, the fringe should be secure. For now. I can feel things start to get a little hairy. And not in the good way, like on your head. No. Well. Send Relmina, my love. Oh, I get to keep Sil's heart, yay. And a replica of the gatekeeper's head. Alright, so that means back to the fri- Oh. No, Gira instead. And we got these. And that. She's not. She is really not going to be happy to see me. Why is it always me? Why? Getting magic and more mana in this game wasn't such a pain in the ass. And those didn't kill me. Like, can things just not kill me? That, that would be sick. That'd actually be remarkably helpful. Oh, thank you for the warm wood leaves. I actually. No, wait, I don't actually need those, but. You know. They're just nice to have. In the event that I need an invisibility potion on the spot, maybe I should start carrying things like my motor, carrying a mortar and pestle around. It's down here. Oh my god! An actual skeleton! I feel so blessed. Oh! I did not- Thank you for the zombies. I love zombies. Zombies are like the best. We need more zombies in the world. Well, you know? You know, just- more zombies, more zombie games, more zombie movies, more zombie media, period. No, I am not falling for that again. 
How dare you insult my intelligence? If only I was actually good at video editing. Your creaking annoys me, sir. Don't you spit anything at me. I didn't want that torch. Are you insane? Torches have been absolutely useless to me in the entire time I've played this series. Oh, well, holy shit. I've actually been playing this series for a long time now. Is Skyrim really that old? Is it really 10 years old? Might have an existential crisis now. I'm 30! Bitch! I'm having problems! And you dare spit weird stuff at me? you and you and you fuckers over there probably get rebuild the gatekeeper next video in the next Hungers versus shambles experiment set up in hypothesis Hunger versus shambles with, with elven catalyst. While generally an even match, these two shambles versus a single hunger. Previous experience have indicated that at the presence of a warm body causes the hunger to increase its ferocity. This territorial hunting imperative is completely lacking in, in the shambles. They do seek to destroy life, not to devour it. Well, duh! I mean... The name alone, hunger. In this case, I have confined a hunger to his cage while leaving an unspoiled high elf female in viewing distance. Hungers seem to have a particular thirst for elf made in blood, and this one, on the verge of flowering, should be a particularly irresistible morsel. I hypothesize that the hunger will fight with greater force and precision in the upcoming battle. After I let the creature or the elf maiden stew a while in each other's proximity, I shall return in a few days to run the experiment. Yikes. 
I should hope that you have plans to remove the poor girl from the cage first. But I don't have much hopes for this particular person. Oh, just me and my chaotic goodness. Excuse me. See what'll happen if I go down there. Come on! Let me just jump out of here. No, why? Why does it wag its tail? I've guaranteed that they're, well, very dead. That's not horrifying at all. I'm just gonna shut this door and pretend I did not see into that room. like the sound of that very much. Well, at least he didn't get up. Hound in a thing. Weak old blood? Experiment set up in hypothesis. Weak old blood. I have paired up a hound in a shambles of equal fighting capacity. However, I have recently drained the hound of its zombie blood and replaced it with blood extracted from a bread and corpse, which had lain for a week, rotting in the hot sun. Charming. When I return, Having let it accumulate to its new supply of vital fluid, I expect the helm will perform with much less efficiency than normal. Project Hound's Blood, Day 7. Day 1 Observation. My theory stated before trial is this. Letting the most recent concoction of Hound Blood 
With that from a headless zombie will result in a beast with greater fury and resistance to pain. Test 1. Subject 1 has, has the current concoction and Subject 2 has the new mixture. Battle 1. Subject 1 lasted approximately 1 minute before expiring, having done average amount of injuries to Subject 2. Subject 2 seemed not to notice that most of the injuries it received. Battle 2. After a drawn out combat, Subject 1 killed Subject 2 but suffered near fatal wounds. Subject 2 fought to the bitter end with the same energy it had started with. Battle 3. Subject 1 went out very quickly. Subject 4. Er, battle 4. Subject 1 lasted less than a minute. Subject 2 took little injury. Test 2. Subject A and B have both have the standard blood. Subject D C and D both have the new blood. Battle 1. A, V, E, B. Lasted just over a minute. Both own suffering grievous injury and somewhat bothered by their wounds. Battle 2. Nearly identical results. Battle 3. C, V, D. Lasted over two minutes. Both hounds suffering grievous injury. Neither seemed very wounded or bothered by their wounds. Battle 4. Lasted under one moment. Both suffering grievous injury. Neither seemed bothered by their wounds. So, same results. It seems my original theory was correct. In future trials, I will try watering down the uh, the zombie blood before adding it to the mixture. Or to gain some insight into the actual potency of the blood itself and determine how much of the additional effect is coming from its combination with existing ingredients. Ugh. Now if only we could get her to Put this genius of hers to, you know, like, I, uh, better take care of that and just be on my merry old way. Where's that lead? Not where I want to go, but I'm curious nonetheless. Water? Gold. Tillian appetite conditioning. <laughs> I've raised these. Bollywogs and Scowlon together from hatchling to adult. I inflicted great pain on them when they were aggressive toward each other and reported them when they showed aggression toward others. They have since acquired an almost familial bond, normally expressed in warm blooded creatures. See previous experiment logs for details. For the last month, I have been starving them in separate cages, allowing them occasionally to eat, but only tiny amounts of reptilian flesh. I procured a fatty breaden of previously luxurious lifestyle. Oh, there's not an ounce of muscle on him. He should be a, a most tempting snack, indeed, but we shall see. I should return soon to run the experiment. There's still some time left to starve the reptiles until they are almost desperate. Poor sod. Sap, whatever. I see even in the air. Now I'm in the air, and I'm bouncing. <sighs> Why couldn't these just, you know, be shorter? Dungeons. Corpse pit? Ay. That sounds like it's gonna be a zombie infested hole. 
But we'll get to that another, on Wednesday. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and share this video with someone who might be interested in the series. I'm Game Dragon, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!